Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So, Taurus, let's go ahead and find out what you need to know right now about your current situation, okay? For Taurus. Let's see here. Ooh. <laughs> Taurus, I feel that this is going to be a good little situation. Okay, so it may not have felt good, but the, the, something is going to turn out in your favor, okay? Especially when it comes to love. You know, I feel that you guys have had a challenge in the past or recently when it came to honesty, reciprocity, and love, okay? But just practice seeing the love and good in all things right now because maybe we've been burned maybe we've been hurt right and we're hanging on to that but spirit is saying just release that don't let the past um take away your experience to have um you know love come in or something really honest and genuine come in okay and always remember too taurus that you can't always expect the truth from others but you can expect it from yourself right so just be true to your path be true to yourself um, and also be willing to let go uh, of anything or any ideas that may have you not open up to a, a new situation when it comes to falling in love or getting and receiving exactly what you need, right? Because we might be hurt here or we've gone through some challenges where we could block receiving good things, okay? So, you know, maybe just laugh at the situation um, you know, choose to focus on the lighter side of life, okay? Don't take things so seriously. And maybe you just need to practice that, okay? So your mantra right now is to just have humor. Laugh at yourself and others if you need to, okay? What else for Taurus? So Taurus, whenever you get to the video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Otherwise, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Let's see what else you need to know. Oh my gosh, wow. There's something strong when it comes to love, so practice and commit, wow, to seeing love, or excuse me, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And we have the two of cups here. Remember, I was talking about you receiving something that was equal, a sense of reciprocity, right? Life giving energies. So there's some sense of true love and a soulmate here, Taurus. We've got something strong, a strong bond. You're attracting some type of love situation to yourself. So hmm, start looking right now and practicing right now to see the good in all things okay and don't get so hung up on what had happened in the past yeah see i feel that there there's challenges with you um and, and something going on here where spirit is saying don't let the past um repeat itself or don't let the past get you guys in a place of you know being suspicious hesitant okay I feel some of you, you know, look at this. We've got the Page of Swords. I feel a lot of you guys are really standing in your truth. And for some of you, Taurus, you may, you may feel like you're at a new place with yourself, especially when it comes to feeling um, transparent with oneself or allowing um, yourself to really be as genuine as possible, okay? Something is working out in your favor and spirit is saying, just have a watchful eye right now and stay in a state of observation, but also an, um, be gentle with yourself because you are at a new phase in your life. You're experiencing some type of new perception as well. Okay. But you may also need to have patience right now. Some of you Taurus, especially if you've got like younger ones or you're watching after someone, maybe a child or a few, um, it could be challenging with this page of swords. And so I feel some of you, that's not going to resonate for all of you, obviously, but uh, the parents out there, you may just need to have a little bit of patience. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are, you know, manifesting what it is that you really see and feel on the inside. And it's only a matter of time before this, these things appear on the outside. Okay. We got Sagittarius um, coming through and also Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Let's see what else comes out for you. 
because I feel a lot of you guys have lost your patience with a situation and a person here too. Um, or some of you, you just really need to try to have patience, okay? What else for Taurus? Some of you, Taurus, may have cancer placements in your chart, and you may resonate with cancer's reading in this series. Mm. We've got honoring the masculine here. There's um, a situation where a lot of you guys are coming into something new, especially when it comes to a male influence or someone who just has strong masculine energy right now. Um, we've got this card of respecting men, embracing the masculine, um, and embracing the masculine divine. So for, for you uh, masculines out there that resonate with this, you're coming into a, a brand new sense of your, yourself and really honoring um, all aspects of yourself and a letting go of old ways of what uh, maybe traditions have taught you that what you need to do or be to be masculine. Um, and we're seeing someone who's very strong and masculine and so strong that they're also vulnerable at the same time here. Okay, so there's something about experiencing a strong masculine energy that is very protective, but at the same time, very nurturing. So Taurus, there's a significant thing of you guys um, not only creating something out of nothing for some of you, but um, experiencing a good man in your life where uh, a lot of you or some of you may have had some issues with a masculine, okay? Um, I'm seeing someone who is just like ready, uh, as well, uh, a partner that's ready. So when it comes to love, I feel a lot of you, uh, Taurus, you're opening yourself up to a, a strong partnership here. Okay. Someone who's solid within themselves, right? Having patience because maybe for some, there may have been something going on here where we're starting as a page and then we turn into a strong masculine here. If we're, you know, whether it's feminine or masculine, but we're all grown up or, you know, we're matured, right? Or a situation is uh, at its ripe and at the right uh, maturity stage. What else for Taurus? move your body to music. So some of you Taurus, you may need to do something that energizes you or gets your, your body moving, uh, gets you back into your physical senses as well. For some of you, especially if you've been in your head a lot, uh, dance with the rhythm of life, find your own rhythm in life right now. Look at this. We even have the temperance and, um, the page of swords. So yes, this is like you guys experiencing a new phase, a new perception, understanding something about oneself here, especially when it comes to maintaining balance, patience. Um, I'm seeing you guys manifesting something that is going to be, um, harmonious for you. So dance with the rhythm of life and manifest your dreams through dance. See, what did I say? You guys are manifesting what you feel on the inside and it's only a matter of time before it shows up on the outside. Maybe some of you Taurus, it's been a while since you've danced or, or sang or, you know, whatever feels good for you guys. Okay. Just get into your groove and follow the rhythm of your own rhythm, your own you know, what, what's your heart uh, drumming at here? Your own beat. What else? I'm seeing like real magic happening here with this temperance card as well, Taurus. So I'm getting like magician energy coming through. Protection guardian. Oh, drop your shields. So, you know, there's spirit is saying you guys have a protective guardian um, and you don't need to be so guarded for some of you guys. Remember, choose to focus on the lighter side of life, right? Yes, spirit knows you guys can't expect honesty, you know, from others, but you can expect it from yourself here. And spirit wants you guys to just kind of let go and not be so guarded. Okay. Right. 
be maybe spontaneous. Open yourself up here. Drop your shields. I mean, look at this masculine. Very vulnerable in this position. Okay. Now, some of you Tauruses are working on being so suspicious. <laughs> But I do see a situation for some of you, Taurus, either you saw something or you got, maybe there was some gossip or some type of information that you found out when it came to um, someone, you know, that wasn't so authentic or honest like you thought they were. What else for Taurus? Uh, take time out from the world. Maybe, okay, so some of you, Taurus, either you need to just kind of... Um, unplug from social media or you just need to take time out from your usual day and routine just so that you guys can really um, recharge your batteries and hear um, you know spirit speaking to you but also um, for some of you guys you may need to just go on a little retreat or vacation okay um, I feel that there's again magic happening in your life and spirit wants you guys to see this alone time as fun time okay especially if you're feeling alone okay not all of you guys are but make sure you are taking some time to unplug from your day-to-day -day, um, routines um, the world okay and the, the world wide web as well <laughs> Maybe, you know, get a good book or just listen to good music and just unplug from everything else. Put your phone away or put it in another room. Okay. What else? I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. We got this card of envy here. Okay. For some, don't look at your life like others have it have it better either. I'm not saying all of you guys are doing that, okay? But hmm, let's get a little bit more with this. I'm getting like five of wands type of energy, but let's see. I want a little bit more with this envy for Taurus. Yeah, look at that. What you contemplate can actualize. Just take some time to reflect and contemplate. Also, you know, being able to just uh, take your focus and your mind off of others right now, because maybe some of you guys, you're maybe spying or watching and observing the wrong situations and people right now, and you need to put your focus on yourself, okay? Because Spirit is saying, you guys are manifesting right now. You've got this power. So what you uh, actual, what you contemplate you can actualize. So, you know, there's nothing that anyone else has that you can't, Taurus, okay? What else for Taurus? Yeah, I'm getting something about you guys not letting things get to you too much, okay? Oh, nourish your... Ooh, I like chocolate. Mmm, yummy. Let's see, nourish your body and soul. Some of you guys may need to just really just eat some good food some soul food okay chocolate whatever is your soul food you know heavy maybe <laughs> or light whatever don't and don't judge it just have fun with yourself in life here yeah you guys need to nourish your soul you went through a powerful um type of tra transformation okay and um spirit is wanting you guys you know remember at the beginning of the reading um i believe i was talking about you enjoying your physical senses especially if you guys have been in your head too much okay or you know focuses other and uh, other areas where we're now taking an opportunity with this reflections to contemplate and actualize and, and giving your body your soul what it needs right now which is also helping you guys materialize a good situation that will bring you happiness okay what else for taurus Release your past life karma. Taurus told you, don't let the past get you hung up here. Don't let the past get you hung up. You are an old soul with deep wisdom, right? This is why take some time to reflect, take some time, you know, to create some, uh, a place, a, a, a safe sanctuary for yourself, right? Or a place where you can just have a little bit of peace and quiet, 
Healing your past lives will raise your vibrations because that's exactly what's happening here. I told you, you guys are going through a transformation. It's now it's time to fill in this emptiness, right? This transformation because we've cleared it all out. So let's fill it up with some good stuff, <laughs> something real good here. What else for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, you guys need to trust here because you guys are going to receive exactly what you need. So just leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly because you guys are getting ready to receive exactly what you need here. So be open to receiving goodness. Look at this. We got our arms wide open here. Believe you are worthy of abundance, Taurus. Okay, because a gift is coming to you soon. It's going to be exactly what you guys need. And whatever comes, you guys are going to be able to utilize it um, in the future as well. What else for Taurus? Spread your wings and soar. Wow, Taurus, this is so cute because look, we had this card of trust here. You know, we're hesitant. Don't let, don't be hesitant here, right? Trust you guys have what you need. Take, you know, think of this as a healthy competition for yourself because this is exactly what's happening is you guys are spreading your wings and soaring. And, you know, when you first get your wings and, uh, and you're soaring, you know, that's scary, okay? <laughs> but it's also expanding. So at the same time, it's kind of a, a growing pain. Share your message or your, crea your creations, Taurus, and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Ooh, I like that. Show the world what you're made of. Mm. Mm hmm What else? See, partnership. Oh my goodness, look at this, Taurus, look. You guys are attracting the partnership or partnerships that um, is aligned with your soul's purpose or soul's growth here. So be willing to work with another. See, there's something strong about you guys not getting hung up in the past and just being will willing to open up. Oh, okay. Now, some of you guys might be feeling like you're not going to do that, but wait till the time comes and start to see what the, what kind of past memories start shooting up suspicious, uh, suspicious, or excuse me, suspicions that you might have. Find trustworthy people to partner with and build up a ta talented support team. Okay, for some of you, you guys, you know, entrepreneurs or business owners or whatever, got some professional thing going on. But look at this t partnership, right? So if you guys want a partnership, Spirit is saying it's just what you uh, contemplate can actualize here. Somebody's rising up. Look, someone is materializing here. Ooh, someone is materializing. You got a soulmate or a partner here that's significant that is materializing. And I'm seeing this partnership as adding value to your life. What else? Awareness. Yeah, live in the moment. Taurus, look, we got this thing about the past and that, that page of swords too is a challenging energy for you too, okay? So be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance. So Spirit is showing you guys uh, things in your environment right now to keep you guys focused, okay? So it's going to be funny because some of you, Taurus, might actually find when you're starting to, to go off or doze off into the past or maybe too far in the future, something might happen. You might bump into something, uh, okay? That's the universe saying, hey, pay attention, be aware, okay? So it's things like that, but also pay attention to the things that really resonate with you, that really stand out to you because that is spirits communicating and speaking to you. So spirit is saying you need to be in this state of awareness so that you can remain responsive. What else for Taurus? And I'm getting something for some of you, Taurus may need to let go of like um, something with guilt here. Okay. We've got to release something with guilt. Maybe there's tied in with like even foods or, you know, something different in your life. Ooh, 
Ooh, rejuvenate your body. We got R Ruby here. See, Taurus, we're talking about you guys doing things that um, can revitalize you. Dance, do things that rejuvenate your body. Retreat, go on a vacation, do something. Take a bath, walk away from things or bad habits right now that only like make you guys feel drained, some of you, okay? I'm just seeing a true gem here. This is what you guys are. You are a true gem. And something that's very hearty here too with this ruby. Oh my gosh, and we got gold. Oh wow, attract abundance. Okay, so if you guys are wanting to attract abundance, ruby and gold, um, these energies are just really speaking loudly here when it comes to attracting abundance, security, and also shining your light bright. What else for a uh, Taurus? Remember what we're talking about is you're attracting situations and people that add value to your life. <laughs> attracting abundance, things that rejuvenate you. Ooh, Song of the Siren. Yeah, I was getting some of you beautiful voices or singers, but it doesn't matter what you think of your voice. Be willing to sing, to summon, to manifest. Spirit wants you guys to really feel and know your power because this is that ancient past life wisdom coming through here. <laughs> the call, summoning, voice to acknowledge. Yeah, a lot of you guys are hearing your call too. And some of you guys, you're manifesting through your singing. I can see some of you Taurus actually singing and calling your soulmate towards you. Um, but yes, uh, you, some of you guys have had a wake up call, right? Something to acknowledge in life right now. Honor your beauty, honor your voice, know that you have a say in what you guys want to create in your life or what you want to call into your life. Okay. What else for Taurus? patience it's all happening in divine order okay there's another card that wants to come out with that see wow and also have patience with your um creative aspects of your mind here look i accept that everything happens in divine order i embrace and nourish look at that nourish your body and soul imagination your body and soul and mind I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And everything is happening in divine order, right? Remember I was talking about something maturing at the right time where it's ripe. And look at this, Taurus. Continue to just keep releasing the need to control and enjoy and do your thing, right? Just... The only thing you need to control right now is just your awareness so that you can um, respond accordingly. What else? Got like this real ethereal beauty here too, Taurus. See, I knew it, cause you are a very rare and unique soul. Yeah, it's just so kind of angelic and that's how, I don't know, I can, that's how I want to say it, but you're a very rare and unique soul. You need to honor that, okay? That's why you're attracting uh, the, the partnerships that help your soul's growth. Okay, that is a compliment to your rare and unique soul. What else for Taurus? Ooh, I like that. Ooh, Taurus, let love in. See, Spirit's calling you guys out. There's a lot, some of you Taurus is gonna, I hope not, but some of you guys might end up pushing love away. You, your past or your suspicions or your hesitation might block letting love in okay because i feel a lot of you taurus there's something happening here with you guys um also becoming emotionally strong okay maybe you want to surround yourself with pink let love in 
this is going to be a strong foundation. This is going to be something that will be um, of truth. Let love in, please. Ooh. What else? Okay, yeah, I feel some of you Taurus might be, you know, we need to use moderation in things, some, some of you Taurus. So, you know, if you are eating unhealthily, you know, eating too unhealthy all the time, then we've got to kind of moderate that, right? Or doing too much of one thing, okay? Some of you guys, you just, you might be obsessed right now or you need to pay attention not to be too, like, focused on one thing. So purify your body. We got the color yellow. Um, yeah, I am getting something for some of you guys. You know, there's um, like a beautiful thing you can do with like water um, and setting it out in the sun, letting it uh, purify and energize that water and drinking it. So purify your body. Do what feels right for some, what, what, what feels right for you and what's healthy for you and your body. Okay, but be willing to, you know, do a detox or just do a cleanse, okay? Or at least just add some something fresh and clean and clear to your um, diet, okay? And maybe for some, you might need to get outdoors a little bit more and get some sunshine as well, especially if you've been indoors too long. What else? <laughs> Medicine mother, mother, honoring your um, inner knowing. And track down your fears and desires. Wow. You guys, look at this. <clears throat> There's something happening with you guys integrating masculine and feminine energies um, accordingly uh, to you. So you guys are doing something here um, that is uh, creating some type of uh, balance. So yes, know your inner knowing, especially when it comes to tracking down and hunting down your own fears, okay? Because when you're aware of it, it has no control over you. It really doesn't. And then you can focus on desires, right? And whether they're healthy or not, right? Because we're figuring things out and using moderation in things as well. So you're narrowing things down for yourself, which is a good thing. What else? Look at that, five of swords, wow. Somebody just had to win like at all costs here. There was a lot of pride or ego in the way, you know. Uh, there's something better too. For some of you guys, you have an advantage over this situation, but um, you know, with this card, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You know, it can be hard because spirit knows what you've had to go through with hurt or betrayal, or maybe for some, you guys suffered some type of humiliation in a way. I want a little bit more um, of this five of swords for Taurus. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through here. Ah, you know, Taurus, I can't help but see something going on here. And I, it's like usually the five of swords is like this, like a, a card of negativity, but I actually see you guys coming out on top of a situation and we got some sore losers at the bottom. You know, it's like, it's like your honesty and your, and your truth really just outweighs a situation and you guys are coming out a winner because it's almost like you guys can spot and see all the lies anyways. Oh, I was getting a little bit more with this five of swords. Yeah. Give us a little bit more. Yep, you guys are going to be the winner. I told you. I feel that there's going to be people that are just going to feel like losers, okay? Uh, so don't be afraid of uh, severing ties or ties that have been severed here or whatever's gone on, right? Because you guys really are releasing past life karma so that you guys are attracting abundance and what you need that helps you carry forth in life in the right direction. Look at this. Yeah, I just feel like... You guys really do have an advantage over the situation. You know that, Taurus. <laughs> okay, what else for Taurus? Yeah, make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic is surrounding you. Um, remember, I was picking up the magician energy. So 
Taurus, please start making a wish. Get your focus off of the past or what has happened here, okay? Eat chocolate. Do something good. <laughs> Put your focus on yourself and make a wish and truly trust and believe in magic. Your wishes are being carried to the universe here. What did I say? It's material. It's only a matter of time before it materializes. What else? Also, I'm getting this message for some of you, Taurus, like you've already won, so you don't need to continue, okay? I don't, for some of you, it's going to resonate for some of you, not all of you. What else for Taurus? <laughs> wow, brave and honest. Oh, be brave and honest. Wow, look at this. You know, you being honest and brave is going to outweigh any situation. Wow, Taurus, look at this. What does this first card say? Yeah, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And that's what's going to win in this situation, no matter how hard it is. So Spirit is asking you guys to be brave, even though it might be hard because, yeah, you've probably been surrounded by a bunch of liars or just people who don't know how to be authentic or just has been very challenging, right? Ooh, you're going to get a, like a reward for this. What else for Taurus? Balance. Look at that. Temperance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. Remember, a harmonious situation is um, coming to fruition for you. So don't judge anything and don't even judge yourself. Just release it. You don't have to be right about anything either or feel wrong about anything. Just let it go. Let it be, right? Your, your objective here is to bring balance into your own life. Because look at this. Then we have equal partnership. We have balance in one's life too. What else for Taurus? Yeah, you guys might have to use some discipline right now, right? Being brave and, and being true to yourself, even though it might be hard. Some of you Taurus are being, you know, I don't, I'm picking up something for some of you, not all of you. You might be tempted to, you know, battle and spirit is just saying you've already won or be in this place of being disciplined and be brave and honest with what you really need to do here. Okay. Or even speak your truth and not be afraid of it. Okay. But Use discipline right now so that you guys can accomplish what you set your mind to. Someone is focusing here too. What else for Taurus? Look, Taurus, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It sure doesn't. I mean, really, it doesn't. Worry, fear, living in the past doesn't change the outcome. So when you guys start to worry and you, you actually bring that into awareness, you're not trying to change it. You're just bringing it into awareness. It starts to lose its power. So just try to use that as practice. Okay. What else? See, you guys know what you're here to do. Look at that. Be brave and honest. You're a rare and unique soul. You know what you're here to do, right? Look at that. Honor your inner knowing. So you guys are being called forth to do something very powerful and purposeful in your life. And it's going to stir up some fears here or something going on. But you're capable of tracking it down through a period of darkness. What else for Taurus? Okay. Yeah, you guys have had to um, surrender to some type of loss and grief. I understand that losing something is, is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. So there's something strong with lessons being learned, but also understanding when, when we have something, we are going to appreciate it. And I do feel that there was something going on when it came to, you know, equality, res mutual uh, respect and honesty with one another. 
And so there was a grieving process you had to go through. Okay, but Spirit is saying, please, Taurus, don't let that past, you know, hold you back from experiencing receiving goodness in your life. What else for Taurus? Now is the perfect time to act. Uh, take inspired action towards your dream. So, you know, spend some time to act, you know, uh, spend some time to unplug and unwind here um, so that you guys are ready and prepared to take action um, when it's the perfect time. Remember, we're talking about that card with awareness uh, so that you guys can be responsive um, and, and in the moment. And also pay attention to the things that are inspiring you, right? Maybe dancing, you know, things that make you guys feel um, some type of, you know, something igniting within yourself here, um, especially when it comes to your dreams. And continue, Taurus, to just know and to move forward with confidence because you, you are going to fly, okay? And some of you guys, getting to the top or going to the top, it's going to be lonely, that's just part of life. That's part of becoming successful. It's part of following your, your purpose and your dreams. It's not a bad thing. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what um, how spirit is helping you, Taurus. How is spirit helping Taurus? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you have powerful healing gifts. You're a very rare and unique soul. Have faith in your abilities and stay true to your path as a healer. This is about you guys being honest with yourself and your situation. Because, you know, be brave and honest about what's true for you and what you deserve because you are a healer and by the way because you're a healer you, you are going to go through massive challenges and transformations but they're very powerful and they will give you a lot of blessings here some of you your um you know your abilities are going to be enhanced some of you you're learning some new healing abilities okay so just trust your path you don't need to force this either this is going to happen naturally over time you're mastering something one more for how spirit's helping you. What's so funny, Taurus, is I just saw the bottom of this card and it was another. Oh, actually, I thought that was. Um, ooh, I thought that was a balance card, but I was wrong. Look, discernment. So not all is what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. How many times is spirit going to say that and keep your dreams a secret? Let them have time to incubate. Don't let others discourage you or put their energies into your dreams. Okay, so keep your dreams a secret and start counting your blessings because you're going to have a lot more to count. Spirit's helping you guys just take, the ple uh, take pleasure in simple things in life. Okay, and just expect the best for yourself and make that dang wish, Taurus. All right. This is all good. You're going in a good place in a good direction. I'm really, um, I'm really proud of you guys. Continue, continue your path as a healer or what you feel guided to do, do and trust your abilities. Uh, love and light. Take care.